In this video, we're going to talk about continue talking about vision itself. One thing you should know in terms of vision is that all objects emit light. So all objects emit light, and that's important because without that, we wouldn't be able to actually see stuff. So, for example, they can either indirectly emit light or directly emit light. So the example of indirect would be, for example, a soccer ball. So the reason why we see a soccer ball is because we've got the sun rays, which I have drawn here in yellow. They hit the soccer ball, and then those sun rays deflect and deflect off the ball. And I've got this different color for the deflected rays. And those rays will then go towards our actual eye. Right, so these are the deflected rays, and they will travel towards our eye eventually. That's basically the indirect emission of light. So these are emitting light, they, they produce their light, but they get it from the sun, but it being deflected. Whereas some, some actual objects emit their own light. So the lamp will be one example. The lamp actually produces its own light, the sun as well. And those light rays will travel in towards our eye. And if these objects didn't emit light, we wouldn't be able to see anything, right? So black just means they're not emitting light. That's what black means. Anything else is emitting light. That's why we see it in these different colors. That's one thing you show, and that's important, because the reason why that's important is because we need to figure out how all of this, and objects emitting light, actually causes us to see it. So they're emitting light, that light is traveling towards our eye, but the important part is it needs to be focused on one spot, and that's usually in the back of the retina, that's called the focal point. So the focal point is the spot where light is focused, where light is focused. So what we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to talk about the first step in terms of how we can focus that light, how we can bend the light to that one spot. And bending the light we call refraction. So refraction is what we call or less bending of light. And that happens in our eye to make sure we hit that one spot, bending of light. So going to quickly just to cover this, all objects more or less emit light, either indirectly by deflecting the sun's ray or directly by producing their own light. But that's important because if they don't emit light, we wouldn't be able to actually see them. Right? But that light still has to be able to actually focus on one spot in our eyes. Light comes in, it has to be focused on one spot, and that happens in the eye itself. So the lens and the cornea and the aqueous humor, vitreous humor. And that's we're going to talk about that in the next couple of videos. But in this video, we're going to talk about this stop point. It says identify the conditions under which refraction of light occurs. So name the conditions under which bending of light occurs. Right, so there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, you need to know what density is. Density is just volume, sorry, density is mass divided by volume. So what I mean by that, if for example, we've got air, so we've got air here. Volume means, which means any given space, so let's just take this random bit of volume that I'm gonna look at, compare that to the volume in water. So the volume is the same in both those examples, but the mass is different. Why? Here we've got a couple of oxygen particles, let's say four, and that's all we have in that whole space. But the same space in the water, we're gonna have, we're still gonna have maybe even the same four dissolved oxygen molecules, but we're gonna have water molecules, these purple ones are meant to be water molecules, and there might be some other things as well, it might be dissolved nutrients. Right, so basically, Air has lower density, air has lower density because there's less things in any given volume and water has higher density than air because there would be more things in any given area. You don't need to remember all like the formula for density or anything like that. All you need to know is that air has lower density and water has high density. And the reason why that's important is because this is important when it comes to the, the refraction of light because light is refracted when we go from a high dense when it, we change density. So if there's a change in density between two mediums, and I'm going to cover that word medium as well. If there's a change in density between two mediums, then refraction of light will occur. A medium is just anything where something can be found. So for example, water is a medium. Um, air is a medium, so anything that 
light can travel in, right? So air, light can travel in water or, or, or air. That's the medium. So that's what we're talking about when it comes to medium. So if there's a change in the medium, then there's a fraction of light. So what I mean by that is if light travels from the air and goes into the actual water, that's going from air to water, change in the medium. And those mediums have different density. Like we said, air has a low density and water has a high density. So we can already consider there to most likely usually to have a fraction have, have occurred. So bending of light has occurred because it's been moving between two mediums of different densities. Now, so conditions under which refraction occurs. There is one example where refraction does not occur, and this is the first one. So rays that move parallel with the normal are not refracted. So one thing you need to know is you need to know what that normal is. Um, if we have the medium here, medium one air, medium two here, what we usually always draw, especially when it comes to, to see if light bends and how they bend, is we draw something called a normal. So this is the normal here. The normal is always perpendicular to the surface of the two mediums. This is the surface of the mediums, right? medium one, medium two, this is the surface. Perpendicular means it has to be 90 degrees between the two. This is 90 degrees. That's a right angle, right? So that means the normal would be perpendicular. So normal would be just a straight line that's perpendicular so 90 degree, at 90 degrees to the actual surface between medium one and medium two. That's all that means, right? So the only time there's going to be no refraction is if we have two different densities. But let's say the light ray just travels exactly like this. Right? It travels in a straight line, 90 degrees to the, to the surface between medium one and medium two, then there's going to be no bending. This won't happen. It'll just keep going straight. That's the condition under which no refraction happens, right? So no refraction happens if the light ray comes at 90 degrees to the surface of the uh, medium, between medium one and medium two. So right, this is the surface between medium one and medium two. If it's 90 degrees, no refraction. Now, when it happens is if there's an angle. So if there's an angle, and there's a change in density, difference in density, uh, then there will be some refraction. So you can see here, this light ray would come in, and this angle is more than 90, or different than 90 degrees. There might be, this might be 45 degrees. I should probably use a different color. That might be 45 degrees. Okay, so because there's an angle, that means there's going to be some refraction happening, an angle of different than 90 degrees. So you can see, this, this was how it was beforehand, and then it changed it got it was it didn't go straight it got bent it got refracted right, so what i wrote here is rays move from low dense rays that move from low density to high density mediums refract towards the normal so in this case we have from low to high so this is the low density medium here that's what that was air low here and this was high density right over here the water so what's happening is it's moved at an angle so it has to move at an angle and it's gone from low density to high density, which means when it refracts, so when it bends, it bends towards the medium, uh, sorry, towards the normal, that's what I wrote here. So it go, it's gonna go towards the normal, it's gonna go closer to the normal, as opposed to away from the normal. So away would have been this way, right? So normal is this line here. Now here it's moving away from, it's further away from the normal, whereas towards means it's getting closer. So that was the example, and it goes from low to high, it's actually, it's going to bend and it's going to bend towards the actual medium. Whereas if rays travel from the from high to low density mediums, so for example, if it travels from water to air, then it's going to be refracting away from the normal, right? So I'm going to draw a line. It starts here. It's going like that at an angle. And then it's going to hit the, this is where the refraction happens at the surface but it's going to go away from normal, so it's going to bend that way. Right, so if it were going towards normal, it would have gone like this. This is closer to normal. But in this case, because it's going from high to low, it's going away from the normal. And what we're going to talk about in the next video is just quickly going to cover just basic principles in terms of what happens in the eye of the cornea, aqueous humor, vitreous humor, and the lens. Um, but in terms of the video itself, I mean, uh, hopefully it's not too confusing. All I really want you guys to get out of this is you should know when refraction does not happen. So if there's no change in density, there has to be a change in density. There has to be 
two mediums which have a different density, otherwise no refraction occurs. Also, the line does not, it's not it's meant to be going straight in terms of 90 degrees. If it's at 90 degrees to the actual surface, there's going to be no refraction happening. But the will ha refraction will happen if there's an angle, so an angle of different 90 degrees. And if the light ray is going from low density, so from the air into the water, then this actual this actual light ray will bend towards the normal, whereas if it goes the other way around, if it goes from high to low, it would go away, so it would bend away from the normal. So these are the two you should be remembering. That's more or less the main gist you need to remember from this top point. Hope that was useful.